Hello everyone and welcome back here, right here, here, here to Comic Vantage. And yes, today we have another Mailbag Day episode. Now this is a very interesting Mailbag Day because there's actually only a couple books that I ordered down at the bottom here. And the other two packages we have here are actually A-OKs. I figured I'd just mix it into a Mailbag Day. So we don't have a toy today and uh, we don't have a package of shame. Although, I don't know, there is one down here that might be a package of shame, but I don't know. Um, although two of these packages were sent media mail, which we all know is now packages of shame. Uh, so yeah, I figured I'd just bust it on out, get it all done at one time, have a fun look at what we got going. So we got a cup of coffee, we got our handy dandy little opening tools. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Coffee. Love it. All right, so let's get some packages out of the way here. And let's start with our first AOK. -okay. And this is a big boy right here. And this is this came from our buddy Surf Blue. Uh, he has his own YouTube channel. You can actually find him, Surf Blue. I was not expecting this at all. I had no idea where it was coming from. It just showed up on my doorstep. I got a email one day from a friend on Instagram saying, hey, what's your address? Somebody in the community wants to send you a box, but they didn't tell me who it was or where it was coming from or any of that good stuff. And then it just showed up. So here it is. Wow, well, these are tough boxes to open. All right, let's see what we got here. It's a diamond box from Diamond Triggers. There we go. Nice tough tape we got going on there. inside so I don't have to be afraid to really cut into this bad boy okay how's everybody doing out there today it's actually really cold in Las Vegas it's funny we started warming up and then all of a sudden the temperature just tanked again it's a little on the ridiculous side okay Should be fun. So I'm just gonna seal that shut before somebody gets hurt. And apparently, we do have a toy along with a note. So, first up, we have a little toy on display here. <laughs> oh, this is too cool. Open here. I want to fix it. <laughs> an alien posable vinyl action figure. We got an awesome little lime green xenomorph. That is too cool. There he is. Green xenomorph. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's too cool. So I'm going to stick that right. But can you see him over here? Yes. There we go. He will be sponsoring our show today. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh, I love this little note here. It says here, here is a mystery box to say thank you for your channel. Have a great day, Surf Blue. Keep laughing. Awesome, I appreciate that, buddy. Let's see, he sent me my own mystery box to open, so that's fun. All right. <clears throat> ah, a nice stack of books in there. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a little too big for our stand here. What do we got? Hey, Wolverine and Gambit victims. Oh, I almost knocked my camera over. I got so excited. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Cage, issue number one. That's awesome. Look at that. Legends of the Dark Knight Venom, part five of five. It's actually a really cool cover. What else we got here? Spider Man 2099, issue number 37. 
Uh, what is this, Venom 2099? It possibly could be. Cable miniseries, issue number one of two. Wow, these are some cool books there, Surf Blue Buddy. The JLX, at last in their own book. It's from the Amalgam universe when DC and Marvel crossed over and mashed all their characters together. It was actually a really fun time. Broadway Comics, Powers That Be, special first issue. It's very cool. I've actually heard of Broadway Comics. Oh no, this is amazing! An old wizard magazine! Issue number 16! I actually got goosebumps, guys. This is awesome! Are you kidding me? Wizard magazine was one of those things where I would pick it up every single month and carry it around for the full month wherever I went with me until the new month came out. And I would just read it over and over and over again. Oh, that is so awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, this is probably the highlight of my box right here. That is amazing. G.I. Joe, issue number six. Amazing Spider-Man Annual, number 18. The Scorpion Takes a Bride. The Destroyer, issue number one. The Human Target, issue number one, coming soon to ABC TV. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's like television adaption. El Diablo, issue number 10. Oh, this is a great cover. Look at this. The Unexpected, issue number 187. That is a beautiful cover. Man, these old horror comics were so awesome. Hey, G.I. Joe, issue number 79. That's a book I've actually picked up recently for myself. I love this, and I'm going to have two in my collection. I'll lift this up here. Nice. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. Let's get a little closer, maybe. We can see more of these awesomeness. X-Men and Alpha Flight, issue number two. Sasquatch cover. <laughs> okay, that first box was absolutely amazing. That was so much fun. All right, let's see. What's in box number two? Okay, X-Force, issue number 18, the Executioner Saga. It's so funny because the Executioner Saga will always hold a very special place in my heart. When I moved to Las Vegas, I came to Las Vegas with, I don't know, I was 19 years old at the time. I packed a suitcase, a backpack, I had a couple thousand dollars in my pocket, and I had the Executioner Saga trade paperback with me to read on the plane. <laughs> Those are the only things I brought to Vegas with me. So this will always hold a very special place in my heart because uh, it was just a blast to read on the plane. I think I read it twice by the time I got to Vegas. It's like a four-hour trip. And I read the entire thing front to back, studying the Jay Lee artwork, and it was just so amazing. Good times. All right. Spectacular Spider-Man Annual. Firestorm versus the Suicide Squad. Hey, what is this? Hey, we got a Star Trek DS9 ash can. That is really cool. I love ash cans. And I'm a big fan of DS9. What a great series. Okay, and race the mummy. Or, or the mummy of, or Ramsey's the Damned. We got an Anne Rice novel adaption. Infinity Inc. Issue number, I don't know, 24. There we go. Ends of the Galaxy, co-starring the Inhumans, issue number 27. Mm -hmm. The Protectors from Malibu Comics. Still bagged, issue number 13. And speaking of bagged, we also have Dinosaurs for Hire, number 8, still bagged. And Gravestone, issue number three, also still bagged. 
These are from their Genesis tie-in crossover event. Captain Marvel and Supersonic Sensation Reborn. Issue number one. Cobb from IDW. That is a book I have not seen and have no idea where it came from. Issue number one. I will check that out. Awesome. G.I. Joe, issue number 62. You cannot go wrong with old G.I. Joe issues. Morbius, the Living Vampire, versus Spider-Man, issue number three. Darkhawk, issue number one, or not one, <laughs> issue number four. <laughs> 41. Wow, I am way off, totally. God, this is an awesome stack of books there. New Mutants, issue number 14, and then... Last but not least, look at this cover. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man versus Sabretooth, issue number 116. That is just beautiful. Seraph Blue, wow, buddy, I'm telling you. You went above and beyond here making a mystery box for me. I appreciate it so much. You have no idea how many times I'm going to reread that. <laughs> I've really considered going back and purchasing uh, the full run of Wizard Comics and actually, or Wizard Magazine, and actually collecting them. And you know what? I think you just kicked it off for me there. Answered my question. I think I'm going to have to do this. All right. Hmm. Okay. Next up, we have a second. A-OK. -okay. This one is a tank. Because this comes from our buddy Victor at Gator Guard Comics. Now, if you guys do not know what Gator Guards are, Gator Guards are these awesome slab kits. Here, I'll show you one. I have my Kane and the Last Padawan, issue number one, with this Gorgeous original artwork by Basil Petridis. This is a Gator Guard. Look at that. And then it's just held together with some screws, different colors that he sells. You can customize it. I thought pink was sort of, or purple was sort of fitting for, so being Ren there. So. He's been working on something a little special. And he wanted to send me one to try it out. And it looks like he may have sent me two, which I will not complain about. Because I can use them. All right. I... Love Gator Guards. They're such an awesome, awesome, awesome alternative to sending your books off to get slabbed. Yeah, especially if you have a little bit, I know people that actually have anxiety for sending their comic books out to uh, get slabbed. Oh, we got screws falling out here. All right. Or you have a dollar comic or something and you don't want to worry about it. But it's special to you, and, you know, believe me, I've got a bunch of those myself. Where, you know, the book is just, it's just special. and But it's not worth anything to anybody else, so why bother getting it slammed? All right. But this way, you can do that. And they fit great in comic mount uh, wall hangers. This is a comic mount wall hanger, by the way. You turn it backwards and it becomes a wall mount. Some people don't realize you can use these as a stand. Look at this. Pretty cool, right? If you take this screw out and put this piece up top, it turns into a, a wall mount. Screw holes. Pretty neat. All right. So anyway, this is one of those things I've kind of been bugging Victor about. And it's like, dude, I really need one. He's like, they're coming, they're coming, and here it is. Two new varieties. Two new sizes. 
sizes for annuals or square bound books, and sizes for Silver Age. How is that not amazing? All right, let's see which is which. Oh, look at the thickness on that one. See the two, you can tell. The top one is Silver Age, the bottom one is for annual. Or the 64 page books. Oh, I'm putting that one to use right now, guys. He asked me, he was like, so what book are you going to put in there? And I was like, oh, I got the book picked out already. Oh, look at that. My other Priscilla Petrades commission that I had done, my original artwork. I sent her this absolutely lovely thing issue with Lady Death, and I was like, just have fun with it. And that's what she sent back to me. I could not be happier. But it's a perfect bound. So in the old Gator Guards, it was popping at the seams because it was so thick. So I couldn't put it in. And I was like, hey, Victor. And he's like, they're coming. They're coming, man. They're coming. <laughs> All right, so, oh, absolutely amazing. So these are really easy to use. You just take your book, pop it on in. Oh, man, that is a perfect fit now. You slap your back cover on. Oh, that is beautiful. So good. dust in there and then you just screw it shut he included a couple different colors of screws but man these sort of cold steel gunmetal really kind of screaming to me for this book nice and simple screw it in there we go I never do these too tight. I can actually get them hand tightened. And usually that's pretty good. Should have brought a screwdriver with me, but you know, whatevs. Now I like to put the screw portion on the back because these can get scratched a little on the easy side and this is since this is the side you're going to stick your screwdriver into I put the other side on the front no scratch marks Yay. Beautiful. Look at that. Tell me that is not absolutely gorgeous. And these things are tanks. I mean, they are not going anywhere once you have a book in here. They have these awesome little corner divots right there. You see the way they're kind of rounded? So that way your book doesn't get jammed up in there and rounded out. So good. That is just amazing. All right, so there's that. Now we're finally on to opening some packages here. Yeah, the one thing I actually did notice that I think is really, really awesome is that even though he did two different sizes, the modern and the silver age, there's no difference in the size of the slab. They are exactly the same, so they will all fit uniformly if you want to put them in a box. That is very, 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 very cool. Props to you, Victor. These are amazing. Yeah, all he did was reduce the size of the channel to accommodate the larger size. So cool. Man, Victor, that is awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, now, now we'll get to this good stuff. Well, I mean, it's all been good stuff, actually. Aw, you know, I was worried this was going to be a package of shame. And they put it... A cardboard mailer. They sent it media mail. And then you come and look, and then the book is sticking out the cardboard that they try to use to protect it. 
I'm just kidding. Yeah. All right, anyway. Book is still in great shape, though. That's what matters. And this is Wraith, issue number one. And this is, everybody knows lately, I've been on a huge Ultraverse kick. Number one, this is the foil cover variant, limited to 5,000 copies, which by today's standards is a huge print run <laughs> for an indie comic book. Uh, but back then, whew, Ultraverse was selling out. You actually could not find it on the newsstands or in comic book stores. I would love to find out what the numbers of something like Prime number one were when it sold. All right. packages I actually got from very large legit comic book sellers and they still came media mail I mean guys seriously why why Whew. all right we're just gonna put you right there nice little stack of books I don't know how many books are in here four books what are you survey says super massive and if I'm not mistaken I have, looks like, can I stand these guys right here? I'm just gonna use everything as a stand today. <laughs> I got A and B covers, two copies of each of Supermassive. There we go, and you're probably wondering, why am I grabbing Supermassive? This is a current book, it came out, I don't know, last week or the week before. I have a feeling about this book. Uh, just because this is kind of like a image superhero crossover and it was, Image has been talking about creating their own kind of superhero shared universe. This is the jumping off point. There's supposed to be a couple first appearances in here, and, you know, we're good to go. No harm in having a little speck. Hey, these are perfect on books. They're big. I'm actually excited to read these, too. Last, but certainly not least, these are the books I've really been looking forward to. These are another current title that just came out. The back cover gives it away what they are. I actually wrote them on the bag. <laughs> All right, I actually bought two copies of this, guys. And this is Step by Bloody Step, the one in 50 jock variant cover. That is correct, one in 50 people. Absolutely amazing book. This is generating a ton of heat. I had to have the 1 in 50s because I love Jock's artwork, and uh, I'm also a huge fan of silent issues, and there are no words in this book, apparently, so really excited. We're going to pop our little xenomorph right there. That's it, guys. Way too many books to do a recap on. This was supposed to be a quick mailbag day, so I'm going to skip the recap. If you want to recap, go rewatch the video. That actually helps me out. Anyway, guys, if you like this kind of video, make sure you gently press that like button. I appreciate that. And uh, if you want to check out more of my content, make sure you sub right there and hit the little bell up top. Good stuff. If I don't do another video later on this week, I might do a short or two. Uh, but I will see you back here Tuesday live in the morning for my previews video telling you what to buy on New Comic Book Day Wednesday. And also, guys, do not forget, I have an exclusive launching this Saturday. That is correct. Saturday, 10 a.m., comicvantage.com, March 12th, 2022. In case you're watching this in the future. <laughs> then you missed it. The book's probably gone and blown up on eBay. All right. That's it, guys. Like always, thank you so much for watching. To my channel members, your name's scrolling right here. Ooh, there to go. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching, and take it easy.